hi guys so today i'm going to be sharing with you guys my experience um having two kids under two if that's something you're interested in then you should keep watching <music> Welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ola bc and today i'm going to be sharing with you guys my own personal experience of having two kids under two and um, i'm going to be starting from pregnancy to after i had after i had the baby so for me from pregnancy yeah um my first major issue was adjusting to um being pregnant and having a baby okay so now camille my first baby was actually four months when i was pregnant right and then um, after now like do my research on oh um am i am i able to balance breastfeeding and having a baby and, and being pregnant and all that they need to the nutrient i need to get um, i need to give them and everything i was just trying to do my research and everything right right so eventually i realized that the calories i'm supposed to gain or the quantity of food i'm supposed to take in yeah to be able to balance giving enough nutrient to my first baby and the one inside my stomach and also still get nutrients as a person no you have to be a gluten to achieve it like i can't i can't do it i couldn't do it i can't deal like literally i was like i was like to eat this kind of food then that means i'm just going to bust literally i'm going to actually bust so i couldn't do that part because i felt like it was too much food for me to eat and i'm not the kind of person that eats a lot of food so I couldn't do that so eventually i tried to breastfeed her for like three more months so at three after three months that's seven she was already seven months by then that i stopped completely i stopped breastfeeding her then focused all the food i was taking for me and the baby in my tummy so that was the first thing i had to figure out how to balance and it was a little bit of challenge but i had to fix stop it and eventually look for another way around it then another thing that was an issue along the line in pregnancy was when my stomach was getting bigger and my first baby likes when you cuddle her like when you like hold her against your chest or against your stomach that kind of like she loves that she loves that but because i was getting heavily pregnant my stomach was like you know like ball <laughs> i couldn't do that anymore because i like i wish was not like pushing against it against my belly and it wasn't just comfortable it wasn't comfortable i couldn't I couldn't continue doing that like i wasn't just comfortable so most times i will not try to put her beside me and and rock her but she she doesn't like that one she prefers when i hold her against my hand and you know i couldn't do it though i'm sorry <laughs> i was just it was just too much for me to do because it was the weight was too much i couldn't carry the two weight <laughs> it was too much so most times i'll just thank god my husband was very supportive so he would just carry her and pet her to sleep or rock her whatever it is she wants so i can be able to <laughs> be on my own you know so those were the two things i i can really say I, I had to deal with when i was pregnant then after i had the baby yeah so i was looking for this epic reaction i don't know what i was thinking what was i thinking <laughs> i don't know but i was looking for this epic reaction when when she sees her sister and i don't know what i was really expecting anyways but anyways so she came to the hospital and um she was she came to the world and at that time she hasn't seen me for two days so she was she just maybe she saw me she just wanted me to carry her that was the first thing she wanted so i was like and i carried her like okay let me give her like she has not seen me she has missed me so let me just give her the attention of two minutes and my baby is more or less like when she wants to carry her just carry her maximum two minutes or whatever she, she's she's ready to she's ready to run away and be on the run and whatever so i was like okay let me just carry for the two minutes i carried her and after a while she was she now said she dropped her so i was like okay i see your sister sister Sister, can you look at baby sister? She just looked at me. She was like, I should drop her. And she, she just left. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> I was expecting, I don't know what I was expecting anyways, but she just did not care. Literally, she did not give me any epic She just did not care at all. She doesn't, she, because it was new to her and she doesn't even know maybe who or what it is. I don't know. But she did not give me any epic reaction. She just did not care, literally. And she left. She was just running around and she just wanted to play and be herself. Anyways, I couldn't blame her. <laughs> so that was another thing. I, 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 she didn't know that she didn't know who she was or something like that. She was all new to her. So when we got to the house now, so every time the baby is crying, she will look like who's crying again in this house. Like apart from me, I'm the only like you know that reaction. She just look around that who's crying. That was the only reaction I, I was getting initially when we first got out to the house. So she would look who's crying, who's crying. That was but eventually she now started getting aware of 
there's a baby in this house, there's a baby in this house. Then later, she now upgraded to going to look at her. When she sees her, she'll smile and go back. Smile, then run away. Smile at times. She tries now. And that, she has, she has upgraded to trying to play with her. Which I wouldn't allow. <laughs> but allow to just come close and play this. But the kind of place she wants, the baby is too tender for her, for her to get that kind of relationship with her. So I'm just like, I mean, I mean she's still small. Don't come close. Then another thing is, um, whenever she's crying, that's my first baby. She wants me to carry her. She doesn't care about who I'm carrying at that moment. If I'm carrying her younger sister, she doesn't care. She just wants me to carry her at that moment and pet her. So most times, if I can, better still, I will just drop a, a, a baby sister and carry her and like rock her or beg her, whatever she wants at that moment, then drop her. But if I can't, I have to just look for someone to like help me carry her or please help me beg her. I can't, I can't drop the baby now because probably I'm breastfeeding her. At that moment, I can't drop her. And see, let me pet her, her other sister. So mostly, I have to look for someone to help me, like beg her or whatever it is she wants at that moment. Give her that attention while I focus on her younger sister. So that's and that thing I have to deal with trying to balance it too. And that thing again is trying to give both of them attention. That is the major work, guys, because they both have two different sleeping times. Yeah. So for the baby sister, she doesn't sleep at night. She sleeps during the day. I hope, I, I hope it's not just some but basically she sleeps during um, at night and she sleeps during the day and she's awake at night why for her elder sister which can be she she's asleep at night and she plays more during the day and i want to give both of their attention i don't want to look like um i'm just giving all the baby sister attention and i've left her out so mostly when a baby sister is not sleeping that is when i have to now be awake and play with her that's the elder sister camille i have to now play with her and try to um spend more time with her so the only time i actually get to sleep is when a sister a younger sister is sleeping and she's sleeping that is when when i get that equal time that's when i cannot get my own sleep which at times it doesn't work and at times it works so you see me i'm at times i'm so drained like i'm looking i'm looking all exhausted i've not slept and all that so it can be stressful like that sometimes and sometimes where i get to have that sleep when i both of them will just sleep at almost at the same time and i get to have my own time and sleep and do whatever i want to do but at times it doesn't work that way so those days huh, it's not easy so literally so far that's been my experience and um i guess i just feel like people don't people don't let you see those reality of what they are going through because they make the picture it like it's all perfect and it's nice and everything is all good but it's actually not easy like it's not easy yeah but we just thank god for god's grace god's grace is just sufficient we literally but it's not easy so I feel like let me just come and share with you guys so far what i've dealt with and i'm still dealing with <laughs> and um thank you guys for watching this video to the end and um expect more content from me every um weekend i'll be posting every weekend thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe like and share then also click on that notification bell every time i post a video i want you to be the first to know thank you bye